Do you practice and work hard, but your results are below your expectations? If so, the reason is your self-image. If you want to become a champion in any area of life, the number one thing to strengthen is not your muscles, your charm, or your sales pitch. It's your self-image. In his book, Mindset Secrets for Winning, Mark Minervini explains how to build the self-image of a champion. We are excited to announce the launch of the Read and Grow podcast. Now you have one more medium where you can listen to your favorite book summaries. Subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts or Spotify would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. Your self-image determines your level of performance. No matter how much talent or natural ability you have, no matter how many hours you practice, if you have a poor self-image, you will fail to realize your full potential because you only perform up to your self-image. We do what we do because it's consistent with our identity. The goal is to close the gap between what you're capable of doing and what you think you're capable of doing by improving your self-image. Building the self-image of a champion takes sound planning with specific steps because it doesn't come naturally to us. As humans, we have a natural tendency to look for problems and faults. And when we mess up, we fixate on what's wrong because we want to fix it. Yet this is not the way champions operate. Your real self-image is not what you romanticize about yourself consciously, but what's imprinted deep in your subconscious. It's like an archive of all the thoughts you ever had about yourself. When you perform a task with a positive result, your self-image grows stronger. And when you produce a negative result, your self-image weakens. Past failures, however, don't need to dictate the future. Fortunately, the subconscious mind is very susceptible to suggestion. You can use the conscious mind to imprint new images and fresh possibilities in your subconscious. Assigning Emotional Weight Research shows that events that happen during heightened states of emotion, such as fear, anger, and joy, are far more memorable than less dramatic occurrences. What's most intense is highly regarded by your subconscious. If you get into a habit of getting mad when you make an error, you will increase the likelihood of making the same error again. Your goal is to get to the point where mistakes never get you overly emotional. Don't focus on what's wrong and why. Become interested in what you can learn and look at your results as an observer analyzing data. Say to yourself, that needs some work. Or ask yourself an empowering question like, what can I learn from what just happened? On the other side, you want to put as much weight as you can on your positive results. When you have a good performance, make absolutely certain that you celebrate. This is the time to get emotional. Reinforce your identity as a winner by telling yourself that's like me. The timing of reinforcement is another important consideration. Other things being equal, the sooner reinforcement occurs, the stronger its effects on behavior. Whenever possible, try to reinforce a desired behavior as soon as it occurs. Keep it positive. While a positive attitude won't always guarantee a great performance, a negative attitude always hurts performance. Minimize critical self-talk and don't spend time listening to the complaints of others, or you will soon inherit their problems. Fill your thoughts with your best performances and what you want to see happen to improve the probability that you will have more good performances in the future. Commit to building your inner champion. None of us are perfect, so there will always be mishaps. But none of us are complete failures either. There are always moments of success or progress. Make it a habit to catch yourself doing something right. This is the habit of champions. Keep a victory journal. By journaling your successes, you are building an inventory of self-esteem supporting data. Your goal is to relive these winning feelings as often as possible. Later, when you need a boost of confidence and you want to step in a winning frame of mind, you can read your victory journal. When you are about to embark on something challenging or scary, refer to your journal and you will be reminded that you can win. And more importantly, you will remember what it felt like. If you'd like to learn more about the other disciplines that make winners win and dreamers reach their dreams, watch our summary of Mark Minervini's book, Mindset Secrets for Winning. Thank you for watching.